Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Today we're on the Bow River. Now, the Bow River, I, I would imagine you think of uh, a drift boat and casting with a fly line. Well, that's not gonna happen today. Being able to cover a lot of water in a short period of time is certainly one of the advantages of using a jet boat. And when it comes to navigating this river, Mike Robertson of Bow River Blog Guiding Fishing Tours has spent the past 15 years maneuvering through the maze of bends and channels. All in the effort of locating some big fish that this river is known for. A lot of times when I come out, what I'll do right away is I'll, I'll test for speed. You know, how fast they want it, how slow they want it, do they want it on a crank, do they want it on a pause. A lot of times when the water's really cold, Michael, they'll hit the, they'll hit the lure on the dead pause, you know. A lot of people don't understand that the river's still moving, so actually the lure's still tumbling when you're pausing that lure. It would seem that Mike has tapped into a void in the fishing marketplace by providing, shall we say, a non-traditional approach to fishing the Bow River? Say 60% of licenses sold are people doing what we're doing today. They're spin fishing. They just, they don't have the money to get into fly fishing. They don't have the patience. You know, a couple of these aspects, you know, drive them more towards the spin fishing side of things. So when I first started, there was nobody guiding the river for spin fishermen like me and like hundreds of people like me. So I found a niche where, you know, the fly fishermen, they were, they were doing their thing and taking their, their fly fishing clientele out and that's great. That's what they love to do. And it's just another tool to get the job done. But me, there was a big void in the market. So, you know, I tried to I'd go out and, you know, chuck spinners from um, some of these people and they just, they wouldn't have anything to do with it. So that's kind of where I was like, hmm, light bulb moment. You know, the light bulb comes on and you're thinking, well, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could start a, a guiding service for spin fishing anglers. And it just, it exploded, Mike. And to those folks who refuse to accept jet boats and spin fishing on the bow? Right, a lot of people, we're, we're out here, we're doing everything legally. We're within the law to be here to use to use a jet boat, we are allowed to use that. The city limits is off limits. You can't take a jet boat in the city limits, so we don't go in the city limits. So I, I believe it all depends on the type of person. I get along with a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys know who I am. I know who they are. We're cordial out here. We're friendly because ultimately we're just out here to have fun. That's, that's why we're here. And I think a lot of people lose touch with that, that very thing. Like we're out here to, to have fun, you know? That's why we do this. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the fish don't care whether we're using a jet boat. The fish don't care whether we're using a, a drift boat. The fish don't care what color clothes I wear or what color of my skin. And I think that's the really cool thing about fishing. It's you just go out somewhere, whether it be a river, a lake, and you just have as much fun as you can because ultimately that's what we're here to do. But if you've noticed, I haven't seen any fish rise. So that tells me, you know, you want to kind of drop the lure down into the water column a little bit deeper. They're not, I haven't seen any fish rise at all today. So that will, that will clue you into what kind of types of lures you want to use on your outing. You may have noticed by now that Mike has a fairly relaxed attitude. And that's pretty remarkable when you consider his background and where his life was heading. You know, I changed my life back in 2004, Michael. Um, you know, I was heavily involved in alcohol, drugs as well. So I thought, you know what, this isn't how I was supposed to live my life. This isn't what I do, what I want to do with my life. So, you know, I went and got some help, chucked myself into a treatment center in Calgary and changed my life. But going out of that, I got into Alcoholics Anonymous and did that for, well, I still do it. But, you know, I, I needed a hobby. I needed something to keep me busy that was, you know, fairly inexpensive. I didn't have much money. I was trying to get back on my feet, didn't have a job. So kind of took up the sport of fishing, bought a cheap $50, $60 rod reel combo and a little box of tackle and, you know, walked to the river, rode my bike. And 
never really caught anything. I really didn't think the Bow River had any fish in it. I thought, you know, if people are telling fish stories. <laughs> but, you know, I soon discovered that there was fish in it. And, you know, I was just, maybe my technique was wrong or the kind of lures I was using were wrong. So, yeah, I really focused in on kind of learning the river and discovering all the aspects of it, shore fishing, float fishing, um, that kind of stuff. Having the right gear on, like having the right size reel and having a full spool of line is very, very important. You don't want to be too close to the bank. You want to be actually able to cast to the fish and bring them back to the boat. So I'm just waiting right now. There's one little particular spot I want. You don't always have to cast. A lot of, you know, a lot of people just go, 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 go. You, know, you can just rest a little bit. And I'm just looking for the right type of water. So that looks really nice. So I'm going to put that lure like all the way into the bank, right up tight to the bank. Yeah, I believe it's changed. We're getting a lot more people. So um, I think the educational side of, of things is really important, Michael. When I, when I, when I guide people, I educate people. So you, you become a teacher. I always say like you're five jobs in one when you're a guide, like you're a counselor, you're a teacher, you're a friend, you're a guide, you're a comedian. So there's all these things blended into what I think, you know, makes a good fishing guide. So educating people, you know, how to release fish properly, what kind of nets to use, good rubber mesh nets, how not to keep the fish out of the water too long when it's hot, especially. Um, just different etiquette stuff, like we were talking earlier up the river, if there's people fishing on the shore, the shore fisherman has the right of way. So you switch sides when you fish and you give them the right of way. And then when you're way past them, you can switch back and fish to that bank. So, you know, educating people and, and teaching people the right ways to do things is, is very important to me. Very good part. Yeah, right there, fish on. Yeah, big fish, big fish, big, 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 big fish. Big fish, big fish, just perfect. That's a big fish. Yeah, that's a nice scrappy, I think it's rainbow, Mike. That's beautiful. So really super important to have all your stuff ready, right? So a lot of people make that common mistake. They don't have their pliers. They don't have the net. That's gorgeous. You don't have the net and they play around. You want to just really have your ducks in a row. Excellent, excellent job. So super important to keep the fish in the water as long as you can, especially on hot days. So we're just gonna push this back, Michael, and turn it out. Push it back and turn it out. See how that worked? Push it back and turn it out. Okay, yep. That's gorgeous. Well, I hate to see a day come to an end, but unfortunately, that's just the way it is. An amazing time out here on the Bow River. I can't thank Mike Robinson enough for the time that he spent and showed me an area of the Bow River I've never been down before. And we managed to put a fish in the boat, a beautiful rainbow. And uh, again, can't thank Mike enough. And if you'd like to spend a day with Mike, I'll put the link to his website down below. Make sure you check him out. It is an amazing opportunity to spend a day on the Bow River, a little different approach, and I'm sure you're going to like it. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Mm -hmm.